hi guys welcome to my channel <laughs> i know it's been a while and you probably are wondering what is on her head what is on her head well today's the day oh uh, it fell off three two one hi guys welcome to my channel <laughs> i know it's been a while so it's my birthday i'm actually filming this a day before my birthday but then i wanted to give you guys something special so they're gonna be seeing it on my birthday yeah on my birthday so for some time now i've been in my head i know you're probably wondering why is she wearing this cap very soon you're gonna know you're gonna know why i'm wearing the cap so for some time now i've been in my head you know what it means for somebody to be in their head basically you know thinking of their problems thinking about things that are bothering them you know it could be anything for me it's you know my mind and then somehow it has been keeping me in this very low place and then this birthday was coming and i was like god i don't want to be feeling this way on my birthday you know and all that and then 3rd of august i called my friend to wish him a happy birthday his name is coco and yet Antia. <laughs> so i called my friend to, you know to wish him a happy birthday and then he said something i'm just going to read out to you i'll be doing mostly reading today he said your life is shining you're married to a man who loves you and you're doing your masters that's what he said to me i was like oh i think oh that's what you call but no it hit me deep sort of in a way that um i needed to be hit really so i'm just going to be doing mostly reading today i'm actually in a hurry i don't know i slept i didn't wake up early i planned to do this video earlier but here i am past nine doing this video to ten actually and when he said this to me, it just dawned on me how I've been focusing on the negative in my life rather than focusing on the beautiful things that God has been doing for me. You know how the devil sometimes comes, you know, and invites you to a pity party and then you find yourself in the pity party, you know, dining with him and feeling sorry for yourself. You know, sometimes it just reminds us of, okay, you're still having this health challenge, you know, you're still having this financial crisis you're not out of it yet and blah 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 and you know so many things for me you know he just kept bringing to me the fact that you know that fear of the unknown and everything and everything and then i've been feeling really down for some time and then when my friend said this to me just reminded me that finally princess there's actually something to be thankful for and you know most times i find myself in this trend and then i have to repent all over again and you know when he said that to me it, it touched me like somebody is out there looking at my life and feeling she got it going and she's happy and all that and i really thank you thank you auntie for reminding me that i have things going for me because i really do and the devil sometimes blows out those things and then so that you don't see it i'm just quickly going to read funny enough i was doing my devotion to that same day 3rd of august and this is what word for today had to say let's face it we don't have to look very far to find things to complain about. God placed Adam and Eve in a garden of paradise where they had everything they needed to be happy. But what did they focus on? The one tree that could they couldn't have. <laughs> Sorry, I won't bite my mouth, but this video we must make. God miraculously divided the Red Sea, guided the Israelites through the wilderness and provided food from heaven each day so they had never go hungry. And did they appreciate it? Yes, of course, they did. But for a while. They sang his praise, but soon forgot what he had done. This is why Paul writes, Fix your thoughts on what is true, honorable, right and pure, and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Then the God of peace will be with you. General Robbie Risney described the seven years he spent as a prisoner of war. Spent as a prisoner of war, duh. In the Vietnamese camp <laughs> as the essence of despair. But he survived how? He pried the cover off a floor drain in his cell and saw a solitary blade of glass, the only smidgen of color in his colorless world. Calling it a blood transfusion for the soul, reasoning began each day in prayer, lying on the floor with his head down the vent, focusing on that single blade of grass. When things aren't going well in your life, you have to choose what you will focus on, fear or faith, despair or hope, problems or solutions. Even when the problem isn't solved to your liking, when you focus on God, he lifts you above your circumstances and gives you peace in the midst of them. 
when you want to worry, stop and pray. You know, that's the one thing I've been telling myself when I'm caught almost in this web of starting to worry again. I tell myself, Princess, you need to take a chill pill and you need to pray about this thing. So I find out that whenever I do that, it takes my mind away from my issues. It takes my mind away from my challenges or whatever it is that might be bugging me at the time. Plus, it helps you to stay, you know, full of gratitude. I made a video last year on my birthday and just so emphatic on Thanksgiving, appreciating family and loved ones because nobody's here forever, you know. And we need to know that the time is ticking. I'm going to leave the link in the video down below for you to watch. But then basically, you know, I emphasize so much on Thanksgiving. So what is my birthday message for you this year? My birthday message for you this year is that focus on the right things. Focus on what God is doing for you because the devil is always going to come, you know, trying to drag you down to his level, trying to make you indulge in a pity party for yourself, bringing all the negative things to your mind for you. But then you have to focus on those things that are right. Focus on the family he has given to you. Focus on the love your spouse has for you. Focus on the love you have for your children. Just focus on what is going for you. He said, focus on the right things, focus on the positive things, the admirable things, everything beautiful. Until the next time, it's time for your girl to go graduate. Bye. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you'll be seeing more of me. I'm sorry this video is a little bit all over the place, but <laughs> until the next time, God bless you. Love you. I forgot my cape. After my washing and my iron, I still forgot it at home. Meanwhile, my head is too big and my cap cannot sit properly. <laughs>
goes fine now. If I goes fine now. <laughs> well, look at if I came. Don't you? Bring it up, bring it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Happy birthday, girl. Wish you everything good in life. <laughs> You know, when someone is in love, you can go to any you extent work, to, to, to get to get to the heart of the one you love, oh. to get to the person. Yay! It was all his ideas, not all us. Not about all his ideas. The old design was all his ideas. Everything. The wine, all his ideas. Yes. Honestly, everything, the chocolate, the sprinkles, mm. the cherry, was mm. all his ideas. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's scary! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 Hey guys, so this wasn't going to be part of my video. But then when your hobby is extra, this is what happened. Well, I was actually getting ready for school and um, voila, this happened. <laughs> I have my friend here with me, Dolly, and I have um, Juliana with me. Please come and say hi. <laughs> this is Dolly. Hi. hi. <laughs> that's Rebecca, that's Juliana. Yeah. And they got me this very pretty cake that I'm going to be showing you in a while. So, this is what my day looks like. So surgeries, procedures, contact visits to the hospital, troubled mind. <laughs> I must say I'm proud of myself and I'm also very much thankful. I choose to focus on what is good. I hope you do the same. Until the next time, stay blessed is a girl princess signing out. By my office compulsory, um, um, compulsory prerequisites, you can't say it between the sentences.